fact the Titanic could have never sunk. It's because of the good intentions of the guy who was on duty that year. After all, it was not for nothing that the ship dared to claim that it would never sink. At that time, when building the Titanic, there was a consideration of hitting icebergs. That's why there are 16 watertight compartments in the hull. Theoretically, even if four of them were to take on water, the ship would remain afloat and continue to sail. And the front of the hull is made of extra thick iron plates with rivets to withstand greater impact. So, in a frontal collision, even if the iceberg has a huge impact on the bow of the ship, the damage will be concentrated on the bow of the ship. At most, the first four watertight compartments would be severely damaged without sinking. But because of the left turn, the side of the bow hit the iceberg, which caused the riveted steel plates to deform and cut open. The result was the ingress of water into five compartments and the gradual lowering of the bow. And because of the insufficient height of the bulkheads, the water level rose to the top of the bulkheads, and once through the bulkheads it spread to the other compartments. Eventually, the unsinkable ship sank on her first voyage. One-fifth hundred people, including the crew, were lost at sea.